Hey guys, it's Bill from Linden, Tennessee. So here is my next project. In the back we have, I don't actually know a whole lot about these things, um, but I do know, because I can read the label, that this is a 123. This one, it's a 123 narrow frame, so that I think it is from sometime in the 70s. I don't know. This one is a wide frame. I don't know what it is because somebody painted the hood uh, and you can't read the sticker. So maybe somebody in the comments, if you know, let me know. That'd be great. Um, but the next project is to make these two one. And I don't mean take the good parts off of one Combine them with and replace the bad parts off the other to make one tractor. This is going to be a center pivoting and articulating four-wheel drive tractor. Think of like a little skid steer or not skid steer, um, log, split, log skidder. Think of like a little one of those or like a big, um, you know, like a John Deere big tractor, you know, with like eight wheels and all that stuff so that's what this is going to be and I don't actually know how I'm going to do it I do know that I'm going to cut the front off of both of them and the front of this one's going to get cut off roughly where the tape is and I'm not sure about what to do with this one I'm probably going to end up sectioning that frame between those two pieces of tape so that I can keep the wide frame front um if I decide to make this one be the front half. Um, this one's got a five speed, or however many speed, I think it's five speed. And like I said before, this one's got a hydrostatic. So that presents some problems. Uh, aesthetically and OCD wise, being different years and different makes and stuff, the fenders are obviously different. So um, I'm going to have to do something about that, I guess. But. Uh, this has got a 16 horse Kohler, Kohler, Kohler engine in it. I don't know if this is worth anything to anybody, but you can have it uh, free of charge. Just come get it. I've also got another generator um, and two fuel tanks. Uh, I know they both hold fuel because they both have really, really stinky old fuel in them. Um, but if anybody wants it, it's yours. Uh, and yeah but yeah this one's a hydrostatic so i've got two thoughts on this uh the first thought i've been running around was have the hydrostat in the front and then have like a like it'll it'll have a drive shaft going between the pivot so and that, so the tractor will be primarily rear wheel drive and if i get into a situation where i need four wheel drive all i'd have to do is pull a lever and that would make the hydrostatic transmission engage. That's an option. Another thought I had was to um, make the hydrostat in the rear and have the motor run the gearbox um, up here and then have it front wheel drive for the most part and then rear wheel drive if I needed it. I don't know. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, but it does matter because I have to make a decision. And I also want to make a bucket, a front end loader for this. I want to make a front end loader for it. And it'll have a three point hitch on the back. Um, I don't have a class zero. Probably be all I can deal with. Maybe a class one. I don't know. My little Kubota is not much bigger than this. But anyway, so that's the next project. Um, and what else? So I did have. Sort of one idea for how to do the, uh, the articulation. And what I mean by articulation is like if, you know, the right front tire goes on a stump, it doesn't lift up the whole right side of the tractor. So what I thought I could do is this is a hub out of an independent suspension. Um, so this is normally where the wheel lug nuts go. And then this would be the, the um, what do we call it, hub upright? I don't know. But, you know, obviously it, it turns and it's strong. So I thought maybe the back half of this thing could be connected to 
the back part of the tractor and the front half could be connected to the back part of the hinge. If that makes any sense. And then you could just run a drive shaft through it and then have a U joint over here where the hinge hinges. Um, yeah, I think that'd be a good thing and you'd have to have some way to limit it. So you don't like, you know, flip the thing over. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so, uh, that's the plan. That's the next project. Don't know how long it's going to take. I do know that there is a, going to be an interim project um, coming this way in about a week or so. So this isn't going to be done anytime soon, but just wanted to uh, put it out there and make it official. I'm going to try to be a little bit better with videos and photos and try and maybe do some like more instructive stuff on like how to make brackets and sort of the thinking process. I've said I'm going to do this a dozen times and I've never actually done it, but um, maybe this time. So that's the plan. Uh, hope you, uh, enjoy it and, um, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.